Hey, what's going on guys? Mark from Spots Music, spotsmusic.com here. This video is for guitarists or bass players that have a show coming up or a performance or who are heading into the studio to do some recording. Now this might be your first performance, your first recording. Uh, we have student showcases coming up for our lesson students that uh, take lessons here in the shop in our music studios. So these tips are to help you make sure that your gear is in optimal condition as far as your guitar goes. So these five tips will hopefully help you have a smooth performance. First up, replace your strings. If your strings are over three to four weeks old, they are probably not at their optimal. You can be the judge of that. If you care about tonality and the way that your guitar sounds and performs, a fresh set of strings will always optimize the tonal quality of your guitar. Brightness of it does dull over time. Now, if you're perfectly happy with the way that your strings feel and sound, you don't need to change them. That's the first step. Secondly is intonation matters. If you aren't familiar with what intonation is on a guitar, intonation is the string length being the proper length so that the guitar is in tune with itself all the way down the neck. Now you can have a guitar that is perfectly in tune at the nut, um, which is at zero, uh, open, and as you move up the strings or up the frets and play a higher pitch note it can slightly go out of tune sometimes it's not noticeable to most people sometimes it's really noticeable so getting that intonation checked always recommend doing that before you head into the studio or you go to perform uh, it could take a little bit of time to get it dialed in and perfect um, but that string length the distance the uh, string saddle is from the nut um, that is what indicates whether or not your guitar is actually intonated. So that is number two. Number three is if you're using active electronics. So most acoustic electric guitars, guitars that have uh, active pickups in them, change the battery or use a battery tester. Make sure you have a good battery. Um, it is frustrating to be in the middle of a song and have your guitar stop working because your battery dies. Um, most of the time, that's not gonna be an issue for you because battery life in a guitar is so long, but change the battery or test the battery always a good option heading into a performance. Uh, the fourth thing, this this works both acoustic or electrics, simply clean your electronics. Uh, there are some great products um, like Detox It, PV Funk Out, uh, that are spray based that you can clean the electronics of your instrument or if you wanted to bring it to our shop, we do all that stuff for you as well. Um, but cleaning the electronics, make sure that there, aren't, there isn't any uh, scratchiness in your volume. Um, any inconsistencies because of humidity corrosion or because of dust and dirt, um, having those electronics cleaned will be the best case scenario to make sure that your tone gets through, uh, that your performance goes off without a hitch. Also, tighten your output jack. Now, guitars, electric guitars in particular, have been around for a long time, and they haven't figured out a smart way to keep your output jack completely tight all the time. Don't know why someone can't figure that out. We tighten them regularly on our own guitars, um, but just make sure that that's tight. The last thing that you want is a loose output jack. If that output jack is loose, um, it can cause some crackling, intermittence in your signal. So another thing to check out, that was number four. Number five is get your action set up on your guitar. So action, all that that really is is the is how easy or hard to play the guitar is based on how far the string is away from the fretboard. Uh, action can be changed on a guitar based on things like nut height, saddle height, um, things like the neck adjustment, the actual slope of the neck. Uh, these are all things that can add to a good playing guitar uh, and make it better or take a bad playing guitar and make it good or if they're out of whack and it's not set up well or it's just been sitting around for a long time with the string tension on it sometimes it just cannot be optimal and it's it's not as much fun to play so we recommend uh, recommend getting the action set so that all that time that you've been working on making sure that your performance is perfect now you don't have to worry about it. You just go and execute, play the song. The guitar is going to respond the way it should. The electronics are going to be clean. The signal is going to be perfect. And uh, and yeah, those are my five tips. As actually as a number six, 
test your cables, check your cables, make sure your cabling is good, make sure your every other piece of equipment check out, make sure before you perform that it is good. Number seven, I would say, uh, if you have access to a backup, a backup instrument is always a good thing. Just because if something does go wrong, let's say uh, you're walking up to stage and you trip over your own two feet, I've I've done that before and I've I didn't break the guitar, but I've made it not playable. Um, yeah, backups are a good thing. You can just grab the backup guitar and go. So hopefully that helps. If you've got some tips on uh, our students that are going to perform for the first time for them, please, please, please leave us a comment. We'll pass that info on. Anything to help them out. It's going to be a fun time for them. I uh, hope this helps you out if you are one of the performers or if you are going into a show setting for the first time. We've all been there that have performed having our first show. So making sure that you don't have to worry about the gear is definitely, 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 definitely a good thing. Till next time. Peace.